What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm doing one on Twitch slash YouTube overlay type deals for videos. Um, and usually my tutorials are basically for just designers, but I could see a lot of just various people being here. So I'm going to try to explain everything as much as I can while keeping it short. This is pretty simple. There's a lot of ways you can do this. This is how I do it. And yeah, so uh, this is basically the example of what I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, you can have a face cam that can go wherever. And you can also change the color um, very easily. And uh, 150 likes, I'll put this download for this exact one in the description. But yeah, let's get right into it. So uh, you want to go to File New in Photoshop. Make sure you have Photoshop. And I'm going to use a 720 P settings right now you can use 1080p uh, 720p settings work for 1080p things like it doesn't really matter but I'm using 720p because my computer is kind of slow I want to be as fast as possible and if it's 1080 it's a little bit bigger file and takes a little bit longer so I want to be as quick as possible so make that new I'm going to double click the background to unlock it hit OK control I to inverse the color make it black and I'm actually just going to go to this Call of Duty thing, this picture, and put it behind so I have a reference. Um, you can basically just Google a picture of Call of Duty and just put it on there. That works perfectly fine. This is something I had. And basically, you want to create the border of the uh, overlay first. So I'm, I'm going to go to my ruler. Make sure you have the, your rulers on the side. If you don't, make sure you hit Control R. It'll pop up. You want to drag, and it should click into place right in the middle. So like right there. There we go. And you want to go down here and create a new layer. Then go to your pen tool, which is this one above the text. And I'm going to be showing you guys kind of like, I believe Rain has this style of border overlay, or maybe Apex does. I don't, one of the phase guys, I remember seeing it like this. But I'm going to click um, kind of towards the top of the page, not all the way to the top, a little bit of space. I'm going to hold shift and click towards like the six. And I'm going to hold shift and click down. Uh, around the seven so it creates an angle like that and then hold shift and go to the middle then up and around then I'm going to right click fill path black okay right click delete path control J to duplicate it control T to uh, transform it and then right click flip horizontal and then drag it over make sure it's lined up and everything and then control H to hide the guide um, and then I'm going to right click that top layer, merge it down. There we go, we got a basic shape. Uh, you could stop here if you want, maybe make the sidebars a little thicker. But what I'm going to do is make a new layer. And I'm going to go and click in on the page like this, somewhere around here. And I'm going to hold shift to go across, like right there. And I want to make a line that's straight with this one. So something like that. That's pretty close. Hold shift, go across, click there, make sure this is straight. So there we go. And I don't think this is really in line with that. Maybe like there. That's good enough. I'm going to right click then, fill path black again, right click, delete path. And I'm going to drag this over like that, then control J to duplicate it, control T, uh, right click, flip horizontal bring this over like that and I'm trying to be quick here um, so this might not be perfect so something like that there we go and then I'm gonna right click merge that down and then right click merge that down uh, I'm gonna double click on there and name this top then we're gonna make a new layer go back to the pen tool and we're gonna do like the same thing uh, control H to make your guide pop up again and I'm gonna make like a thin bar to like six and a half, then like a thick one to about seven, I guess. That's not thick enough. Make it right there. Um, you can kind of just do whatever there. Um, you don't even need a bottom bar in all honesty if you don't want one. And there we go. So as you can see, it's thin on the side, but a little bit thicker in the middle part. And we're gonna right click, fill path, black again, right click delete path and then same stuff control J to duplicate control T to transform right click flip horizontal drag it over and that's not in line so I'm going to drag that up and then right click merge down 
double click name this bottom put it on the bottom and now you want to find an image um, a colorful image with like a pattern of some sort uh, you can go to hdwallpapers.org and find some pretty cool ones or any wallpaper website I'm gonna use an image from my exclusive pack which is seven dollars in my store if you want to buy it uh, link is in the description um, so I'm gonna use this image I'm gonna drag it on I'm gonna resize it so it's a bit smaller so it fits on the border and I'm gonna duplicate it drag it over I'm gonna go to my eraser kinda make it a thinner eraser so like 60 and I'm gonna erase the edges and just gonna line it up and keep duplicating it and lining it up uh, staggering it so it's not the same thing repetitively um, so just basically what I'm doing uh, if you have a big uh, wallpaper image or whatever uh, you can just you don't really need to do this you can just fill the whole thing um, but I like doing it this way because uh, you can see more detail uh, then I'm gonna select all those layers and right click merge layers Then I'm gonna duplicate it and put it back uh, on the bottom uh, border like that and I'm gonna drag that one down above the bottom layer right click create a clip masking so now it'll just be over that and then the same thing there like that there we go and then I'm gonna select both of these and go to about 30% opacity and then I'm gonna to go to the top layer double click on it go to color overlay and pick a color that's similar to the wallpaper color you just chose so I'm gonna go with like a pinkish red like that and then I'm gonna bring the opacity down to like about 15 there we go and then I'm gonna to go to inner glow put the blend mode on overlay and uh, bring up the size a bit just however you feel is necessary. So I'm at 24 that works um, And that'll create a nice glow in there, and then I'm going to go to drop shadow and just lower the opacity and Then I'm going to go to stroke color white and Then size one click ok Then we're going to right click copy layer style right click bottom paste layer style same thing should pop up there and now we want to make a face cam real quick so I'm gonna select those control G to put them in a group this is gonna be called the border uh, I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna go to the paint bucket tool and fill this in do control T size it down and this will be your face cam so make it as big as you want the face cam to be so like that um, then I'm gonna duplicate this go to control U make the lightness a little darker so it's a different shade of white or black or whatever and I'm gonna resize it so it's a little small so we get a white border going around this like that then control and click on the thumbnail of that layer so it creates like uh, should look like dancing ants around it uh, which means it's selected then go to that bottom layer hit delete control D and then delete that top layer you should have this nice border then zoom in a bit and get this centered and then duplicate this control T drag it down the bottom a little bit drag it up the top a little bit and create this little gap in between um, you can do whatever for this actually you can be as creative as you want uh, it doesn't really matter um, then select both of those right click merge layers uh, control I to make it black just looks better then you want to go back to your border and you want to duplicate this image put it up there so control J to duplicate in case you haven't caught on um, and then duplicate it again and drag this one down a little more so like that so it looks seamless and then select both of those put them over the face cam right click create a clipping mask and then you want to right click on that layer and paste the layer style again so now we got our face cam so there we go I'm just gonna put that in a group again control G call that face cam and now we're gonna do the text so I'm just gonna show you the text setup and then you basically you can do this all on your own um, so I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna go to my text tool and then you wanna control H for so uh, your guide pops up and you wanna click right in the center there and then I'm just gonna say phase test so you can do whatever put your name there or whoever you're making it for 
and I'm going to increase the size like 40-ish. Actually, I'm going to just resize it myself so it fits nicely. Like that. There we go. And the font I'm using is Gotham, but for uh, half of it, for the clan name, I'm going to leave that thicker. And then for the actual name, I'm going to make it a little thinner. So I have a bunch of Gothams with different sizes. So for that, I'm going to make it Gotham Medium. There we go. So it's a slight difference. You can't really tell that much. Um, and I'm actually going to make this a little smaller. Oop. And center that now. There we go. And now I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to go to Gradient Overlay. And I'm going to go to this overlay or this gradient I have. Uh, most of you guys probably won't have this. But it doesn't matter because I'll show you the other way anyway. So I'm just going to do this, click OK, and I'm going to right click, rasterize layer style. I'm going to go to Control U, bring the saturation down, and bring the lightness up so it's silvery. Uh, but if you did not have that uh, gradient, you, you can uh, make the text gray, create a new layer, right click, create a clip masking, get the rectangle tool, and just select half of this, get the paint bucket tool, fill in it white. Uh, control D to unselect, put that on overlay, put the opacity down, and you get a nice like reflection there. And then you want to double click on the text layer, put a nice drop shadow, bring the opacity down a bit, uh, go to inner glow, put it on overlay, bring the opacity down, and there you go. Now you got some nice text. And then all you need to do really is uh, copy this layer style to all your text and logos you put on throughout and it should look nice and end up coming out like something like this and you can uh, put t-shirts at the bottom or whatever you have um, and then uh, to change the color however you want all you need to do is go to the very top and then go down to this half circle thing and click that go to hue and saturation and then you can change the hue to whatever you want and it doesn't really matter what this thing is because you're going to unselect that and unselect that and that's what it's gonna what it's gonna be and you can also change the saturation so if you want it just gray there you go if you want it like really saturated you bring it up all the way which I don't really recommend but it's whatever um, and yeah so that tutorial is really fast I hope I got that all in for you guys please leave a like if you enjoyed 150 likes and I'll put the template in the description for you guys so it might be a little easier you can get an idea off it um, and yeah let me get, let me know if you guys want a thumbnail tutorial or something along those lines but thank you guys for watching be sure to check out my store in the description follow me on twitter and all that good stuff and i'll talk to you guys later Peace.